by Claire Braces Delivered. News 2, of course, you're back to school headquarters. Nearly 6,000 students are back at school today in Colleton County. Yeah, we've been talking to the leaders of local districts for like two weeks now, yeah. and today we're going to the Colleton County. From bail schedules to security effort, I talked to the district superintendent about what's ahead this new school year. Today we head to Walterboro. We are Team Colleton. Colleton County School District has 5,700 students in nine schools. Things are going well. We're excited for the new year. Um, it's going to be a great year for our school district as we are working to prepare every child today for tomorrow. This is Dr. Franklin Foster's fourth year as the leader of Colleton County School District. This year brought a big change in bell schedules. Implemented a staggered bell schedule approved by the board last April. And so this year, instead of all of our student schools starting at the same time, we will be starting elementary school at 730 and we'll be starting middle school at 8.30. With this change, we were able to reduce our routes from 88 routes to about 75. So that, in, of course, will take care of some bus driver shortages that we were experiencing. And we are putting plans in place to help with some parents after school, with some after school child care that we've never had before. So we're piloting that to see how that works and see if we have the interest there. Colleton County School District is expanding their new tech program. The Palmetto New Tech, which is an extension of our um, commitment to being a K-12 school district that has the new tech um, practices in all of our classrooms. So last year we brought bells on board. So this year we're starting with the Palmetto New Tech at the middle school. The district spent a lot of time training and examining safety protocol and procedures. But in our budget this year we included the additional SRO for to help at our elementary schools. Right now we don't have um, a full-time SRO at our elementary schools, but our hope is is that we can use the two that we're going to have to rotate between those schools and be more um, in place at those schools for longer periods of time. We're committed, we're going to be focused as a team, and we're going to make sure that everything that we do from our custodians all the way up to myself, that everybody knows that we're committed to making sure that our students have the best possible year that they can have in Colony County School District. Colony County has seven teacher vacancies this year.